is hot today. Ooh. I guess why don't you just go to the beach if it's that hot? Because, like most Celtic heritage people, uh, I burn super easy, so I'm staying cold the only way I know how. Air conditioning and scotch. Cheers. Since I put out my last video being so excited about getting a comment, guess what? I got some more. So, just to recap on yesterday's uh, video, uh, this comes from Anthony Young Husband. He says, I can 100% confirm that the art works great with the Sigma Art APS-C lenses. So, thanks for backing me up, Anthony. And then he goes on, if you want to read it, head over to my last video goes on to explain a little bit more about that, so thanks Anthony. Uh, but also, I got a question from Cindy Marie saying, hey, I'm thinking of upgrading my camera but stuck between the EOS R or the Canon 5D Mark IV. What is better, mirrorless or DSLR full frame? Before the EOS R came out, uh, the full frame Canon mirrorless camera, I would have definitely said DSLR is best. Um, you used to have these guys, which I've put on my rig now. You used to have these guys, uh, which was the Canon EOS M range. That's the M6, you yeah, got the M50. They're all good, they were pretty small, but the idea of mirrorless at that time was that they were small and compact, unlike the SLRs, which are kind of big and more professional looking. Now that the EOS R has come out, it's kind of changed the way that I think, at least in the Canon world. Um, you had the you have the Sony A series um, for quite a long time, the A7s, at the forefront of making mirrorless more of a professional thing. Now I'm just gonna say right off the bat that this is um, purely my experience, what I think about the whole situation. There's obviously always gonna be people on either sides. Um, I haven't had much experience using a Canon 5D Mark IV. Closest I've had is I used the Canon 5D Mark II for the longest time. Really loved that camera, um, but obviously it's a bit old in this day and age. If you look um, at the specs between the EOS R and the 5D, they're basically the same. Without going, going too far into it, they offer so, a lot of the same things. Even fairly certain that they have the same sensor. Here's where the differences start coming in, is in the actual body. It's a flip-out screen. I absolutely love this flip-out screen. Um, it's a lifesaver. Not even for things like this, where I can see exactly what I'm looking at, exactly what I'm filming right now, but also things like shooting low, shooting high, because the 5D doesn't have a flip out screen. They both are touch screen. Some people hate this. Personally, I like it because when I'm in this mode, looking at myself, filming myself, instead of having to try and find all the buttons on the other side of the camera, I can just click on the screen. I can change my eyes, so I can change my uh, f-stop, I can change my frame rate, Pfft, all there, touch of the screen, super. The only other thing that I've really noticed in this debate between Canon 5D and the EOS R uh, is the dual card slots. The 5D offers a dual card slot and the EOS R doesn't. So if you're using it for a professional use, say you're doing uh, wedding photography and you need to have that backup, uh, then definitely go for the 5D because the EOS R, if it if it screws up, it screws up and you're done for. For me, for the stuff that I do, it doesn't really matter that much. Touch wood, I've never had a card fail on me. For video, I would recommend the ESR because of that flip out screen. Uh, for me, the decision came down to uh, came down to what I needed it for, which was video mostly. And I needed it for a B camera, so the dual card slot didn't really matter to me. Price point, the ESR is a newer camera, the same as the 5D Mark IV cheaper and it was smaller. Having it smaller and lighter is good if you're using your old EF lenses, but if you do want to go down the path, path of getting the EOS R lenses, bring that weight back up because the EOS R lenses are massive, even though I've been told that they are probably some of the best lenses out there in the world today. That's pretty much my take. Not a very technical um, review, but you can go online and you can find all the different settings and everything. Really, between the two, I think it's just a personal preference. Um, in terms of the wider battle between DSLR and mirrorless, it seems that mirrorless is catching up to the professional DSLR models. And personally, I probably think that the mirrorless are going to surpass it um, and the DSLRs are going to get left behind. But that doesn't mean that there's no use for them and there's no people that will buy them. There's still people that buy film 
SLRs and use those as their professional thing. So I feel that the future is mirrorless, but at the way that we see it at the moment is that they're very interchangeable. One thing that I think the world should really remember is that the body isn't everything. You've got to invest in good glass, good filters, good audio if you're doing video stuff, all of that kind of stuff before you can really get down to the nitty gritty of which body does which. I hope that kind of explains it a bit. If not, there's plenty of other videos out there, but they're just my two cents on the topic of the EOS R versus the 5D. Maybe in the future I'll get my hands on a 5D uh, Mark IV and then we can do a side-by-side -side comparison because they're always very interesting and show, show us things that uh, the spec sheet doesn't. Uh, let me know if you're interested um, to see that and I can get that happening. Uh, and thanks for commenting on my videos, guys. That was feeling 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 love so again if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see whether it's to do with the ESR whether it's to do with my new DJI Ronin S um, or anything else that you've seen on my channel or something new that you want me to investigate uh, I would be glad to do that just let me down in the comments down below other than that I think it's um, probably ooh, probably about time that I get rid of get rid of this guy Christmas tree. It's, um, yeah, let me set this down. It's just, it's been out for a bit too long. It's not Christmas anymore. It's the new year. So I'm just going to quickly, uh, get, get rid of this guy. See you in the next video. Apparently it was actually that easy.